Aloha and welcome to Knitted Paradise, where the needles are clicking and the yarn is squishy. My name is Lucia and you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Pearl of the Pacific. Today is Sunday, April 17th and this is episode 116. So, hello everyone and welcome to my knitting podcast. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. Um, as you notice, I am back in my old location, Song's background here. Um, <laughs> we had a fire in our kitchen on Tuesday, and no one was hurt, nothing got seriously damaged, but um, it's our apartment is kind of upside down at the moment while we clean up after fire. So this was the easiest location to record at, so I thought I would just be here for now. And yeah, the sun is shining. It's supposed to be really warm today, which I'm really excited about. And I'm sorry if the bird's really loud, but we can't take her out because there's soot on various surfaces that she likes to land on. And trying to give a bird a bath, not happening. I have given the cat two baths this week and he doesn't hate me so yay for that <laughs> he actually took it a lot better than I thought he would I think he just maybe just resigned himself to the fact that this was gonna happen once it started he was like okay well I guess I'll just go along with this because that'll make it easier and get it over quicker which is what happened so that was that was fun <laughs> I ended up just getting in the tub with him and giving we didn't like immerse him in water, but we just kind of splashed on him. Anyway, you don't probably don't want to hear stories about giving the cat a bath, but everything's going fairly well around here. We actually were able to cook dinner in our kitchen last night, surprisingly, and the, the, the fire was in the oven. We haven't tried using the oven yet, but the stovetop works. There's just no knobs because they melted off, so... <laughs> But there is, our kitchen is mostly clean now and mostly put back together. Um, we've still got things that are soot covered that needs to be washed and returned to their place. But for the most part, our kitchen is kind of normal, which is nice. <laughs> so there wasn't a whole lot of sleep this week, but a lot of cleaning and not a whole lot of knitting. So I have a, a couple things to show you um, that I got done either at work during meetings or choir rehearsal or things like that. So let's get started with Below the Con Shell. We have the April, May knit along or craft along going on and that's anything that you make in the months or that you finish rather in the months of April or May that is mostly green and or yellow. So post away in the thread. Um, the other knit along that we have going on is for my night at the theater shawl, which is a new shawl I just released a couple weeks ago, and I showed some pictures and talked about it last week, and that has been going really, really well. Uh, the guys at the Leading Men Fiber Arts booth have told me that the pattern has sold out, and so they've uh, asked me to invoice them for some more copies of it, which is fantastic. I'm so happy about that. Um, thank you all so much for liking my pattern and purchasing it and wanting to knit it. Uh, so that is going on in the thread as well. There's a coupon code KP, which is capital K, capital P, and then theater um, with an RE at the end. And that will give you 25% off the pattern until the end of the month. So I'm giving people a nice long time to purchase the pattern just in case they didn't get to watch the podcast right away. And if you post on social media, such as Instagram, because that's really the only social media I use, um, it, use the hashtag night at the theater shawl so that I can find your lovely shawls. Yay. So that's happening right now. And I think those are the, uh, the two things. Oh, Dramatic Knits, um, which is the Leading One Fiber Arts podcast is doing a designer knit along for April, May, and June. So if you're knitting the shawl, you can also enter into their knit along because I was one of their featured designers. So yay for that. All right, on the island, I have one thing. I have the shard 
uh, shawl by Romy Hill out of another crafty girl in her ooh shiny sock. And the colorway is the Great Wave. I think last week I had done one, one repeat of it. And um, now I've done like eight, I think. I'm used to eight uh, little wedges. Did you want to come say hi, Pam? No, you just want to make a mess on the table. You just see his tail. And normally you don't get to see the cat because he's in, in hiding while we let the bird out. But this week he's out. So this is how it's coming. And I really love this pattern. It's really addicting. So, oh, that's what you want. No, you can't have those. He wants the hair ties that I had placed on the computer. You sneaky little thing. Anyway, so what happens is the you let the yarn dictate your knitting. So you do um, like these wedges, these short row wedges, um, but then when you get to a certain color, which in my yarn is white, you do little short rows and create these little shards, which are really fun. And sometimes they all pile up on top of each other like they did there but sometimes they're nice and spread out. So I am really, really enjoying this. And it's going to block out a lot more. It's um, squishy garter stitch. So it's gonna block out a lot, which is awesome. So that is for the Another Crafty Girl Knit Along that is happening in her group. And we are all knitting this shawl out of any of her yarns. And she has made a list of I think over a hundred colorways of hers that work with this pattern because you have to have a certain um, amount or a certain like length of your shard color in order to make the pattern work and so I definitely suggest checking that out that's till the end of April so I better get going on that <laughs> and so that's been, now that I figured it, I had some problems with the pattern in the beginning and I think I was just reading it wrong and or not paying attention and or trying to make it more complicated than it is. Um, but now that I have it figured out, it's very easy to just kind of do mostly mindlessly. I just have to pay attention to when the white comes along because there have been a couple times where I'm just knitting, knitting, knitting and I'm like, oh, whoops, <laughs> supposed to do a shard here. So it's pretty easy to just think back and do the shard. Um, let's see. That's it for On the Island. That's it. Um, the other thing that I have is set sail. I finished the thing. Yay! So I finished the Galactic Cat that I think I had started last week. It was pretty quick. And I'm really, really liking it. So this pattern is by Giuliana Puccini of Giuliana's Fiber. And the yarn is another crafty girl merino worsted in I Can Fix It, which is the blue and yellow variegated. And then I also did just a plain yellow, which is uh, Leading Men Fiber Earth's Dramaturg in the Rubber Ducky colorway. So that's the contrasting color, which are the pearl rose. And you can see it more, the yellow on the inside. I've woven in my ends, but I haven't clipped them yet. So it is, it's still a little damp from blocking. Come here, buddy. Do you want to say hi? This is Pan, or Pantalaman. Hi. Hello, everyone. Okay, you can go now. <laughs> he keeps looking for the hair ties, but I've... I've stored them away safely. So this is the hat, and it's still a little damp. I can try it on. See? It did block out bigger than it was. It fit perfectly before I blocked it. But now it's it's just a little bigger. It's, it's, it's got um, enough room to cover my ears, which is what I really like. And um, it's not too tight. I don't like my hats too tight because then I get to work and I have marks on my forehead and then it just looks weird. So I like it a little looser um, just because then also it doesn't squash my hair to my face. I feel like, I don't know, not as bad hat hair, I guess. 
So that's still drying. It's just a little damp, kind of up near the top. But I am super happy with it. And now the cat's sitting where it was, so I'm just right over here on the side. I have a little table here that I brought over so that I could put stuff so I don't have my normal setup that I had kind of configured in the other room. So this is the only thing I finished. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not a whole lot of knitting has gotten done this week. From the mainland, I did get two things. I thought I was just going to have one thing for a section and then something came in the mail yesterday. So I got a surprise thing in the mail from the Rusted Stitch. If you remember a while ago, I had got ordered this bag. Here, let me show this way so you can read that. The Rusted Stitch. I love these zipper poles. These are fantastic. They're these little suede zipper poles and they have the Rusted Stitch on them. And you can grab them like this and pull them or, you know, just grab them like this and pull them. I really like this. Anyway, I had ordered this bag a while ago, and um, that's the inside. It's blue. Awesomeness. And I got this in the mail the other day as a surprise from Stephanie, so thank you so much for this. And it's got matching inside fabric, and it's a needle sweater is what she's calling them. And she's just trying them out for now. So they've got these fun little snaps, and it's got the same yellow cable. So slightly different, but it doesn't matter to me. And But it's got the same inside. I love matching things. Like, I love matching things. So I'm going to try that out. I haven't tried it out yet. I just put it in the bag um, with my Pearl of Pacific yarn, which has not been wound yet, but I'm going to use this bag as this, uh, to knit the sweater. But I've got all four skeins of it in there. And there's still a little bit of room. So I put it in there for that. And I start that, which is hopefully sometime soon when I'm not scrubbing soot off the cabinets and ceiling in the kitchen. We had, we actually had our, what we're now uh, calling our disaster squad over on Wednesday night, um, which is just kind of a, a team of our close friends who we kind of beg to help us <laughs> when we really need help. And so they came over Wednesday night and got a huge amount of the cleaning done, which made it feel much more manageable. I was, <laughs> I had taken half a day off of work on Wednesday to come home and um, hopefully get some semblance of order in our kitchen. And it was just after four and a half hours, I was just feeling really hopeless. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I'm never going to have a clean house. And... So we just kind of begged some friends to come over and thank God they came over and did a huge amount of cleaning. And so our ceiling is now no longer black. It's mostly white or off-white, I think is the original color. We are gonna have to do some repainting this summer, but luckily most of it is off. Um, I'm just looking at the walls here in the living room. There's still some along the edges. Uh, there, was, there was a lot of smoke in our apartment. We were very, very lucky in that we were able to get the flames out fairly quickly and then uh, just run around and open every single window and turn on the fans and get, we had some, like some box fans we put in the window, just kind of blow everything out. So we did get the smoke out um, fairly quickly, I would think. And so we don't have anything that has smoke damage or smells super smoky, which is really nice but there's still soot and stuff all over the place. So luckily my yarn is totally safe. Just putting that out there. I keep it in bins um, in the bedroom, and so that is totally fine. None of it got touched. I know you're all wondering about that, but that's all fine. Um, yeah, so that was that. The other thing I got in the mail yesterday, which I probably should have taken out of this paper, I did open it to look at it and then put it back in the paper. But I got a pre-order from Mustache Yarns. Oh, I know, I've she's on my bucket list of things to knit, or yarns to, to knit with. And it just, it was impossible to catch an update. And someone posted on Instagram this yarn, and I was like, she's doing pre-orders right now. And I was like, oh, 
pre-orders. I can get in on a pre-order. <laughs> There's no way I'm catching an update. Unless I'm like lightning fast, but I can do a pre-order. So I got a skein of <gasps> Star Wars yarn. So I got a limited edition part one droids. And this is the OC D2. So it's an OCD skein of, um, I think they're, they're uneven stripes is what she called them, of um, R2-D2 yarn. That's it. And um, yeah, two perfectly matched half skeins twisted together. So I got, um, you can get all of R2-D2 or you can get all of C-3PO or you can get um, one of each, basically like a half skein of each. Uh, I'm definitely an R2-D2 person, as I've said before, and so I got the full R2-D2. Hey! So I'm super excited about that. This is super nice yarn. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I thought I was like, there's no way I'm going to ever get some mustache unless I see her in person, which is very unlikely. She's, I live in Chicago and she's in Texas. So unless she came up to a show up here or I went to a show down there, it wasn't going to happen. So I am super excited about that. I was grinning like a little child in a candy store yesterday when my husband handed it to me from the mailbox. <laughs> I was really excited. So I think that is it for this week. Sorry, it's such a short episode, but it is what it is. That's what happened this week. And hopefully I'll get some more stuff done this week. But, you know, it is what it is. Life happens. So I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you soon.